Good morning beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Chantel and in this video today, I'm going to be testing out all the IRL products. I wasn't actually going to do this video. I had set up to do this eye look using the new Beauty Bay Retro Love Palette, but um because i just received the irl concealers the new ones i thought to myself you know what i have all the irl products so why not do a two in one video where i can use these as my base products as well as do the eye look so at the last moment i decided to do that as you're about to see um yeah so i have the new concealers which i'm going to be using in the video i have the foundation i have the primer i have the setting spray wait to see what happens with this <laughs> and i also have the um the irl filter two-in-one pressed and loose translucent powder so if you want to see exactly how i get on with each one of these products oh yeah and to finish it off i have a lip liner from irl i only have the one and i have three different um irl whipped lip creams um so yeah this is the finished look of what i came up with so if you want to see exactly how i used each one of these products and how they performed on my face then please do keep watching right so before i begin let me just explain what's going on here um i never set out to do this video and um i was prepping myself to do this which i am going to be doing a look using this palette today as well but all my base makeup and stuff i have all the irl and i thought you know what shanta why not just video it and because they've come out with the concealers and i haven't done a review on the irl range yet so i have everything here in front of me um because this was a last minute thing i have done my brows i have prepped my eyes to start the eyeshadow look and i have done my base so i use the irl skin filter pore blur primer and it feels really nice on the skin um let me just also mention the reason why my skin looks quite patchy is because like i said i wasn't going to do this video so i did color correct to use the using the nyx the orange color down here so you'll see little blotches all over my skin where i have color corrected so that's the reason why my skin looks like that um you guys already know that i have acne prone skin so now that i have done the um obviously i moisturized and used my hyaluronic acid and um i've done the primer and i've color corrected the next thing obviously would be the foundation before i jump off and do the eye look um so this video might be a little bit all over the place because this is the first time that i've tried to do two videos in one go so i've tried to write down all the different steps that i should take before crossing over but this is the first time like i've like i just said so yeah bear with me hopefully i'll get it done properly i was using the um irl number f13 as you can see but i'm thinking that it may have been a tad too light so i picked up the f13.2 can you see it's not much of a difference it's barely well it does look like it's a lot darker doesn't it well let's just try and see what happens so i'm going to use this um the f13.2 and we'll see if it's really red if i'm making a really big mistake um but yeah it's oil free and it's supposed to be 16 hour wear which i won't be wearing it for 16 hours it's supposed to be breathable and it's a soft matte finish i do like the ri ril filter foundation because like i said um this is my second bottle and i also have a backup of the f13 but i thought let me try the f13.2 because i don't know what's happened but lately my foundations haven't been matching the way they should and these are foundations that i've been wearing for a long time and then all of a sudden it's looking a little bit light so i don't know what's happened there so i thought you know what let's just be on the safe side and try and go in with this Let's see oh it looks like it could be all right let's see let's pat this all in 
Oh, I like that. Just look at how that glides on, guys. I like that. I won't go all the way up um, to my eyes because I, I don't like too much product underneath there. And I am going to be using concealer. Just bring it down my neck slightly. Again, I don't like putting too much on my nose because I contour my nose and highlight my nose. So I like this colour. It looks like it could be a little red or orange. I don't know how it's coming across, but hopefully when I put all the rest of the products on, it will be okay. Yeah, it is a little bit on the warm side, isn't it, guys? I don't know if I should have changed the colour. I thought I should have stuck with the F13. It's too late now. We've got to keep going. <laughs> right, so far, I'm not 100% sold on the colour. I think I should have stuck with the F13. I don't know what possessed me to try the darker shade. Um, but yeah, I am going to... Reserve judgment until after I've completely finished. I'm going to jump off now, do the other video, well, half do it with the eye look, and then come back and then we can try out these new concealers and see how they look. I got shades C11.2 and C12. I'm not sure which shade would work best. Excuse the nails, guys. <laughs> Um, but yeah, when I come back, we can swatch them both and see which one would work best under the eyes. Right, so I'll be right back. Right, guys, I'm back. And I know I look completely crazy. The eye look isn't finished yet, but I've gone as far as I can with that. And I have to do my concealer under my eyes and do the rest of my base makeup. Then I can finish the eyes. It's just how I do things. Right, so um, concealer. Like I said before, I have got C12 and C11.2. I'm not sure which one would work best. So I'm going to try the C12 one. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open them both up and I will swatch them both and decide from there. So one second. Right, so this is C11.2. And can I just say, look at how this doe foot applicator looks. That is very unique. All right, I'm excited to try this. Um, so that is C11.2. And then this one is C12. Let's see. This one is C12. This is C11.2. Ooh, I think I'm going to go for C12, you know. C11.2 is just a little on the warmish side. Well, not a little. It is really warm. And um, I don't really like that. Especially because I'm going to be setting it with a warm powder, I think. Oh, no, no, no. I have the IRL pressed powder. So let's stick with the C12. And put this all over. But look at that. I am so excited to try this. It oh my gosh look at that not too bright not too bright at all i like to let it set down on my face a little bit um the longer you kind of leave it to set the more coverage you kind of get so And then I can top it up if I need to. Right, so I'm going to leave that to set. And I'm also going to do a little bit on my forehead. I'm going to go in for the full um, contour and highlight in this video. Just so that I can try this out as best as I can. I like that. So we are going to start off with this eye because I did this one first. I'm going to go up here a little bit and go right the way around. Uh, 
I would say it's medium coverage. It's definitely not full coverage. Yeah, it's definitely not full coverage because I feel like I need more. So I'm going to put just a little bit more here. <laughs> and leave that for a couple of seconds and then do the other side yeah i definitely do need a little bit more as you can see it's not full coverage i can still kind of see my dark circles coming through but maybe what i should have done is color correct it first but i just wanted to see how the concealer um would work by itself because i don't normally color correct under my eyes um, but using this concealer, I might have to try it again and colour correct with it and see exactly how that works out. It's a little better, but I can still see. And it is settling into my fine lines. It is kind of settling into my fine lines because they're so fine the camera's not going to be able to pick it up but i can see it it is i'm going to see how it looks once it's been set so i'm going to just blend out the rest of this it's really good um for this kind of thing here for doing that in the middle of my face where i don't really need a whole heap of coverage but under my eyes where i've got these dark bags i do kind of need like a full coverage concealer so if you're not looking for a full coverage concealer then i guess this would be this would work great for you but like i say it's not bad um it's, it's not bad at all i just need a little bit more coverage um but maybe i should have color corrected under my eyes first maybe i should have color corrected maybe my powder can work wonders who knows oh no i'm gonna use their powder but i'm a bit i'm a bit worried to use their powder guys because it's a translucent powder and we all know that when people say it's translucent companies say it's translucent it's not translucent for um people of color so let's see let's try this guys and see if i'm going to regret it i might have to <laughs> redo it but this is the irl i dropped some of the concealer on it this is the irl filter two-in-one pressed and loose powder let's open this up so it looks like this and this is in translucent this is the only one that they do and it's supposed to blur and mattify so let's open this up this is the irl it says irl in there obviously this whole video is our irl and then there's the loose powder i'm not going to use the loose powder guys i don't know should i let's just do a little bit like this on my finger oh guys is that going to rub in? That is definitely going to leave flashback. Let's try a little bit of it. No. I don't know. I don't know. Oh dear. Okay, I'm going to use a powder first. I'm going to use the I'm going to use a brush and just swirl a little bit around there is a little bit of kick back in the pan Ooh, I'm so scared <gasps> oh no Oh no, this is a no from me. Look, you can see the white cast underneath there. This is a, this is a no from me. Um, this, please drop a comment down below if you've used this, if you're like lighter skin toned and you've used this and it's worked for you guys. I don't think this is made for, 
you know darker skin tone people so what i'm gonna try now and do is um go in and try and correct this with my maybelline fit me fit me and paula beauty sponges <laughs> i absolutely love these sponges really do i got them from amazon guys right i'm gonna just put a little bit on there tap off the excess and see if i can work this out there you go I can still see my bags coming through. Can you see that? This is a this is a fail from me, guys. <laughs> um, the puff and the color is hiding it a little bit, but you can kind of see. Look at that! You can kind of see it coming through, guys. What can I say? This is a no from me. I need a full coverage concealer. So what I'm going to have to do now is do what I normally do afterwards and go in with my banana powder. Normally, guys, I would go in with my banana powder but because I had so, such a white cast underneath. I didn't want to put a light powder on straight away. I wanted to try and bring it back to my kind of skin tone and then go in with my banana powder. I could be doing something completely wrong here. I have no idea how to correct um, under eye powder that's gone horribly wrong, apart from taking it off and starting again. So, I'm just gonna leave this like this and hope for the best. Let's do down here. Look at that banana powder, guys. Absolutely love that. I always tap off the excess before going over. Yeah, I'm going to have to try and use this concealer again, guys. Um, I don't want to write it off just yet, but I'm going to have to um, colour correct my under eye before going in because it's not enough coverage to cover my dark circles. And it's still like kind of peeking through. So now that I've done that, and I've got powder all down me, right, I'm going to contour. Right, guys, so all I have left to do is the lips and the um, setting spray from the IRL brand. Everything else is not IRL, so I'm going to jump off, finish the rest of my base, come back, do my lips and the spray, and give you my final thoughts on all of the products and round up the video. Right guys, so I'm back. As you can see, I've done my face powder, I've put some blush on and I did a little bit of bronzer and contour and I used my um, Beauty Bay Bronze Blush Glow Palette. I used this as a contour i use this as like a bronze i use the same brush for both i don't know where the brush is here so i kind of just dipped into the dark one just to add the contour as you can see and then i went over it with the with the with the the lighter shade to bronze a little bit i then added a little bit of this as blush as you can see just a little tiny bit like that and then I dabbed on there and then just went over it like this like just a little bit because I didn't want the kind of berry color to clash with the blue so just to you know just to brighten up the face a little bit and then I used this is just if you're interested I used this um, revolution reloaded golden light um, highlighter on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose and I also used, as an all-over face powder, I used my new Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Press Powder. You might have seen me unbox this in my haul. Um, and yeah, there's not much kickback in the pan, as you can see. And I've been using it, guys. I used it to set my whole face. And I just like the, um, the colour that it gives me. Um, so yeah, I'm back now just to finish up the video um, with the final products. I have three of the... IRL lipsticks um they're called the whip to lip cream 
And then I have one IRL pencil, so I really don't have a choice. I'm going to have to use this pencil. And I didn't think this eye combo through when I was planning out the video because um, I don't have a kind of colour. It might clash, so I might have to go neutral. So what I'm going to do first of all is I will line my lips with this. And this is the colour um, Americano Brown. It's a wind up, looks like this. And if I swatch it here, that's the color it is. I don't know if this is gonna show up on my lips because I naturally have a darker outer line anyway. So in order to wear um, liner, it has to be really dark, but we're gonna try. Wow, it does show up. <laughs> It just glides on guys it's really creamy i like that it's really creamy now i don't overline my lips because my lips are big enough as it is so yeah i stick to the edge but i don't go over and i'm sure this smells a little bit like cinnamon it does I just touched the end of my nose with that. Alright, so I'm liking how this liner looks. I really am. And then I'm going to colour in the outer edges with the liner, like so. And while that's like that, right, let's swatch these colours. This one is going to be Americano Brown. There you go. There's the Americano Brown. Sorry, I still got some of the P. Louise there and some of the translucent setting powder there. That's the Americano Brown and this would pair so beautifully together. But I think this is just too dark for the eye look. Then we have this one, which is Burnt Cinnamon. Oh, these smell so good. All right, there's Burnt Cinnamon. And again, I don't think that would kind of suit. Well, none of them is going to suit, but I think, you know. And then this one is Frappuccino Nude. This is the one I was thinking of using out of all three. This is Frappuccino Nude. All right, so I'm thinking this is the one I'm going to use. So wish me luck. Okay. Yeah, I think this would be okay. Let's get a little brush and try and pat this in, shall we? Get a little brush. Hmm. I already messed up with the liner. Here. Yeah, I like this. I like it. It's really hydrating, guys. The colour is bright. I like the way it's paired with the liner. It doesn't look too bad on with the eyes. It's not perfect, but, you know, um, it's two separate videos. <laughs> and this is the colours I went for on my eyes. So I'm thinking kind of like the lilac -y pink in the inner corner may just go with it. I'm not 100% sure, but we're just going to go with it. These are the only colours that I had and the only lip liner that I had. And I wanted to use as many IRL products as I possibly could in the video. So yeah, this is the finished look. We're going to go in with the IRL all day filter mattifying fixing spray and then I'm gonna go through each product and let you know what I think of it so let's open it up let's see how it sprays first oh oh no I got a, did I get a dud 
Oh, that is such a shame. Oh. Are oh, you seeing this, guys? I'm spraying and nothing is coming out. I'm gonna have to because this is new i've only had this a few weeks like a couple of weeks so i'm gonna have to uh email support and see if i can get like a replacement because look nothing's coming out so that's a shame so i can't get to do this one so i'm gonna just use i'll use my new game of thrones fixing spray um I would have loved to have used that one. It smells nice as well. Does it smell nice? Is this what I'm smelling? I don't know. I think I'm still smelling the lip products. So I'm just going to use the Game of Thrones fixing spray because I can't use the IRL one. I love the mister on that. So. This one smells so nice. It's so citrusy. That's really nice. So let's just use the mirror as a fan. That's just going with, just like that. Make sure it's all blended out properly. Right guys, um, let's go through all the products one by one. First of all, this IRL skin filter pore blur primer and it says it mattifies it looks like this i've got powder and everything all over me guys apologies absolutely would recommend this i love this this is my new favorite primer <laughs> i think i am gonna just be using this from now on and i'm definitely gonna repurchase this it's really nice it makes my my skin feel really smooth soft it does blur and it does mattify so yeah i like that definitely would recommend this okay so the next thing the foundation 100 percent yes right when i put on the 13.2 it did look a little bit dark but once i've put the rest of my makeup on it's actually okay um i think i could get away with either one of these but i'm leaning more towards the 13.2 to be honest with you um yeah I, at first i thought as you could have told as you could have told as you would have seen well, at first when i used this i was not impressed but as it settled down and i've put the rest of my products on over the top this is actually really nice i like the way that this look it really does match me so i think this may just be my perfect color not this one this is slightly off but in saying that i will finish using this um and i have another bottle of this as well which i will use up and yeah so i do recommend the foundation it does what it says i don't know about it being 16 hour wear though because i've never worn makeup for 16 hours straight um, but it is long wearing um like i say i have used this prior um it is breathable it doesn't feel like i've got a lot of thing on my, a lot of product on my face so yeah and these two pair together so nicely right so yeah definitely would recommend that now moving on to the concealer it's a really nice concealer i like the applicator um i liked it when i put it on my forehead down the bridge of my nose and here right it really worked well under my eyes not so much only because i have really dark circles as you guys would have seen and this is not a full coverage concealer um it's medium i would say yeah definitely medium i want to use this again but i want to color correct under my eyes and see if that helps because as you can see look you can see it's it's still peeking through a little bit look right i try to cover it up with the powders all right so yeah i would recommend this if you are looking for a full full coverage concealer for under your eyes no this is not going to do it um unless you color correct and have to go for all that trouble before using it but i will definitely get my use out of this especially even if i just use it in my t-zone right it really looks nice as you can see look i like the way that that looks really nice especially with the revolution banana powder you saw me use this so i'm sure i've left it in you've seen me use the banana powder it's really nice i just i like the way it complements my color my skin my skin tone um 
yes i'm moving on the irl filter this is a no from me this does not <laughs> work for um darker skinned people i would really be interested if you are light skinned and use this how you got on with it so if you're darker skinned i wouldn't recommend this it, it didn't work for me i don't know if you've used it let me know drop your comments down below um i'm just going to be honest and then the mattifying fixing spray well <laughs> getting powder all over me i've got powder everywhere um i can't comment on this guys because as you would have seen i got a defective one it doesn't work it was brand new i just took the seal off of it so i don't know what's happened look it doesn't spray guys so i'm going to email them and see if i can get a replacement for this and once i do use it i'll keep you updated as to what i think of it if you've used this guys drop a comment down below what you thought of it so i used a different fixing spray but overall i do like the way um it's turned out i like the way my skin looks i like the way that my blush and everything went over on top of it um my powders yeah guys drop your comments down below what you thought of this video what you your thoughts are on the concealer if you've tried it the foundation if you've tried it any of the products that you saw me use today I, i'll be really interested to know oh guys one more thing i almost forgot the lip liner oh i love this lip liner it's creamy it's the wind up type i love wind ups i didn't think it would sharpen my skin tone um on my lips my dark colored lips it did i love that and the um formulation of these um it is definitely whipped it's definitely um hydrating on the lips i love the color payoff i love the fact that it's um so vibrant so bright um these are the three colors that i thought would suit me and i'm glad i picked up these colors i haven't used them yet i think i've used the brown one once um this is the first time i've used this color and i absolutely love it so guys yeah i do recommend this and i do recommend um the lip liner so yeah i recommend the lipsticks recommend the lip liners recommend the foundation recommend the primer i can't talk about the fixing spray i do not recommend the translucent powder and i do recommend the um concealer for like the t-zone and if you don't need full coverage under the eyes right yeah then i do recommend then i do recommend the concealer it's not a bad concealer guys um the conceal and define concealer from revolution is full coverage it covers it lasts all day it doesn't go in the fine lines i absolutely love that concealer so yeah if you're looking for a revolution concealer the conceal and defined concealer from revolution is full coverage if you made it this far into the video thank you so so much for watching i really do appreciate each and every one of you and before you all click off if i could ask you to please hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already done so and then click on the little notification bell beside it and then click all so you never miss another upload from me and while you're down there if i could ask you to please hit the thumbs up button it really does help me on my channel out and i really do appreciate it guys right once again thank you so so much for watching until next time have a beautifully blessed day and i see you all again soon bye for now